For more than 30 years, John Cobalt and Ken Shampo, the voices behind the long-running and popular John and Ken show, have entertained and provoked listeners across Southern California and the nation. But all good things must come to an end, and next week, Shampo is hanging up the headphones for good, retiring from the daily grind of talk radio. Cobalt will continue on solo. So, as their historic run comes to an end, we're honored to have both John and Ken here with us in studio. And for people that are wondering, what do these guys look like? <laughs> this, is, this is what they look like, right? After hearing these voices This is together. why we've been on the radio for 30 yeah. years. No, yeah. no, no. You both look great. It's great to have you no, here. Ken, you. Let, let's start with you. Yeah. I mean, how are you processing this? Well, first thing, why is he here? <laughs> <laughs> this is my... <laughs> That's what you get when it's John and... Yeah, yeah. How am I processing that? We yeah. love that word, don't we, John? Yeah. Yes, we do. Uh, well, it's <laughs> going to take me probably five years to process that I'm finally leaving radio, but uh, I'm pretty excited about it. I'm looking forward to it. Why did yeah. you make the decision to do so now? Well, yeah. Uh, you can ask him, but he's been talking about this for years. I mean, behind the scenes, I have been planning this, thinking this. I'm the accountant by trade. So, you know, I budgeted myself, I planned that I was not going to work until I'm um, 70 or 80 or 90 years old. And I always go by the old cliche line, did anybody ever say on their deathbed, I wish I worked more, I wish I worked more. No, nobody ever says that. Well, so. yeah. uh, apparently John might. Uh, yeah, he's you know, many years younger than he yeah, is. So. Well, of course. Yeah, many of course. Years. Yeah. So how are you dealing with this and how will you ever go on? Well, because he talked about it for a long time, I kind of had geared up for yeah it's probably going to happen this year or the next year or the next contract or something you know it's just a, a part of it it's like it's like my kids moving out you know I, I gird myself in advance when big changes are coming so i can glide into the next chapter um what we we've had a so much fun it's been 36 years oh gosh. and he's leaving because he's sick of hearing me yelling <laughs> in his headphones for, imagine for 36 years you're hearing that four hours a day so um I, I understand why he wants to move on. I'm not there yet. <laughs> yeah. So I'm just going to keep going until uh, I'm tired of doing it. He yeah. says not there yet. He just mocks retirement. So, you know, very right. different views I'm like we do on the air see, sometimes. I'm trying to be very polite different. and understanding, I, okay? Yeah. I'm not going to mock you for, you know. Yeah, so, so 36 years you guys have been yeah. together. You came here to L.A. in 1992. Before yes. that, you were on the air in New Jersey together. Yes. Um, is there one thing that you are most proud of uh, in terms of political change or something that you guys caused as one of the most listened to radio shows in history? I mean, we could go through them all, but... Well, we helped knock two governors out of office, mm -hmm. and I don't think any other radio show did that. We, we took care of Jim Florio in Jersey with a tax revolt and then knocked out Gray Davis and got yeah. Schwarzenegger in. And I mean, we were you, you really got, prime drivers for both of those. Yeah, and, and you are credited big time when it comes to that recall of, of Gray Davis and yeah. making that thing uh, really happen. And, and looking back on that now, are you happy that you did that? Uh, yeah, I mean, Arnold Schwarzenegger, Gray Davis, I don't know that it would have been much different, but yeah. Gray Davis had to go. I wish this governor would go, too, but we'll see <laughs> what happens there. But we're also very proud of the Three Strikes Movement, which came early on in our career here in L.A. and California. We think that's a big factor in trying to cut back on the crime problem. Ken, what do you attribute to the two of you working together in terms of your success? I mean, given the fact that you started together in the 80s in New Jersey, right. 36 years later, why do you think you've been a success? Is this where you want me to cry? Uh, exactly. <laughs> I told them off camera, we need you to cry tonight, please. Well, I, he's pretty easy to work with, despite the fact that he's loud and abrasive. I mean, that's the number one question I get. Is he really like that? I said, no. This is the personality he vents on the radio because in his personal life he can't be like this. He can't go to a cocktail party and start screaming about Newsom or something else in the news. So, but otherwise he's easy to work with. He defers a lot to me, which is great because he's the strong voice. I'm the planner. I put everything together. It's worked very nicely because the personality is meshed and neither one of us has a big ego. It's like a marriage. I mean, do you, do you guys fight? No. Off the air? No. What are we fighting about? We're doing a radio show. <laughs> <laughs> no, but if you listen on the air and you hear us arguing, that is real. Yeah. And sometimes when, when we go to a commercial, we don't say a word to each other, which is rare. Yeah. For a while, because I'm still a little bit fuming that this idiot said that. Yeah. What, what is it? What I, I enjoy getting him angry. <laughs> it's yeah. not that often. What is it about him? You know, I, I heard him, we We worked in a, a couple of towns together before we got paired up. 
and I we were on morning shows opposite each other in Elmira, New York. And I heard him on the air with another personality. And I was I really wanted a partner. I figured out that I can play best when I'm playing off somebody, reacting to somebody. And I heard him, and then when a friend of ours suggested that we team up and eventually move to Atlantic City, instantly I said, yeah, that'll work. That's it. We never worked together. We n didn't even put a tape together. I sold uh, the owner of our Elmira station on putting us on the Atlantic City station that he co-owned. And the guy went for it. And it was just an instinct. Mm -hmm. It was no research. There were no focus groups. There were no studies done. I just thought, yeah, I could, I could play off him. It would work. The chemistry would be there. And it was from the very first minute. Okay. You knew right away. So, oh, yeah. So you just said that y you work better with somebody. Mm -hmm. Again, it's yeah. going to be the John Cobalt show. Yeah, what about that? Yeah, what about there's, that? There, there's no one else who wants to work with me. That's <laughs> one, give me your money and I'll stay. <laughs> I'm taking some of your money. <laughs> 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 Uh, we're gonna we're gonna have a lot of contributors on the show because it, it, it I do work better playing off somebody, so we're still gonna have Deborah Mark doing the news. We love Eric Scar is our yeah. uh, board operator. He's gonna chime in some more, and then our producer Ray Lopez is signing up uh, news people and experts and you regulars. In, in fact, you you guys are welcome. Yeah. Welcome to, to uh, contribute. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, we love it. And you being the planner, what what are you doing? Yeah, what am I doing? I don't, I'm just going to let the world slow down for a few oh. months and figure things out as to what I want to do next. There'll be some travel in there and a bunch of other things that I wanted to do, but I don't know exactly. And what happens when you want to complain about something? But that's, I'll call in. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's going to contribute. Yeah, exactly. The moist line, you can call in any time. Yeah, we right. got 30 seconds. Well, yeah. tomorrow you two have quite the day ahead yes. of you, right? As yes. everyone at KFI, because it's their 13th annual Pastathon. In Orange County, here's all the details. This is for Giving Tuesday. It's at the Anaheim White House Restaurant. It benefits Katarina's Club. You can donate at Smart and Final and Wendy's locations. KFI out there broadcasting live from 5 a.m. to 10 p.m. And that includes John and Ken from 1 to 4.